Hello! My name's Mac, I'm a brewer. I like my new bike. It's so hard to get into. I also like watching my son at the trampoline park. <laughs> well, here we are. It's a Sunday. It's minus six. Well, it was minus six in Oxford made everything look so nice. Look at, look at this, look at all the trees. Fantastic. But we're off to Portland, in Dorset. And here we are crossing over Chesil Beach. While it may have been minus six in Oxford, it was a positively balmy, positive three. It's meant it was a little bit muddy. Ah, you win some, you lose some. We decided to climb at the park called The Cuttings. And immediately, Andrew says, are you going to lead this, Mac? Uh, yeah. I've only led once before. I just had a thought. If in the future these cliffs get quarried, we've got our hands on future architectural history. Hmm. You've no doubt heard of Portland cement. Hey, did you know that uh, the Houses of Parliament, all of those, uh, what would you call it? Stones? Bricks? I didn't look that up. Uh, all of those big bits were stuck together with Portland cement. Ah, you know the Houses of Parliament. This place, you know, there's Big Ben. The government, they, they, they sit there and they, all of that rubbish. Yeah, the house is part of these, this place. Stuck together with Portland cement. The stone, however, I think that came from Anston Quarry in Yorkshire. And here's something I didn't know. Did you know you're supposed to season stone after you've quarried it? Yeah, you're supposed to leave it for like two to three months. I don't know why I think you'd be able to tell the quality of the stone afterwards. But then they didn't do that when they built the Houses of Parliament. So some of the stone's really good, some of it's rubbish, and it's just crumbling away and parts are falling off. And, and that's why they've got to, uh, they've either got to chuck the government out of the Houses of Parliament and uh, do a full rebuild, or Oh, well, I guess it's the fascia. Uh, or they sort of do a fix-up while government's sitting. Uh, the problem is that the, the latter is way more expensive than the former. Ah, uh, who knows? If they'd have used Portland stone, they wouldn't have had this problem, would they? Look at it. Look at that lovely limestone. Incidentally, Sir Christopher Wren was an MP for Weymouth during the Great Fire of London. And he used six million tons of Portland stone to rebuild London. Well, mainly the churches and some buildings in London after the Great Fire. Who knew? Uh, yeah, they sort of put, put it by coast round to the Thames and then up the Thames, and Bob's your uncle. And while John was my uncle, I've finished this route here, so I'm just, putting in two quick draws and making a little anchor, put the rope through that and then I can come back down and someone can top rope to their heart's content up that route. Lovely. Nice one, Mac. Let's have a look down here, shall we? Let's see what's going on. So on the left, in the rather striking red jacket, is Paola. She's from Sevilla in Spain. Well, we in Britain would say Seville, uh, um, double L, or uh, yeah, it's that language. In the middle of the shot is Zach. And he's from South Africa. What's her name? <laughs> Paula. 
Well done, Paula. Mac. And yours is Emma. He might be thinking, over to the left there, it's quite dark stripes of, of rock, striations. Is that, is that basalt? Is that tar? What, what, what is it? I don't even know if tar comes from rocks. I don't think so. Uh, it's, it's just wet. All oh, right, right. Uh, it was all, all the water was seeping through and it was coming down there. There, lucky Powellers avoided that by going up to the right. Just over to the over to the left, so sort of around, around a little. These guys over to the right, one climbing, one bee laying. They're both called Stefan, and they're both from Romania. We may be looking at the rock face all day, but look at this. If you just turn around. Ah, oh, it's lovely. Here's Grant, he's from the Czech Republic. You might remember him from the first time I went to Plantation in Stonage. Actually, no, you won't remember him from that because I didn't do a video of that at all. Motoring, mate. some photos in. All right, scratch that, forget, oh, forget what I said. Lovely chap, anyway. You might have been cogitating this whole time, thinking, six million tons. Yeah, that's not half of it. And get ready for some more facts. Nice. Well done, Grant. Nice one. <laughs> You'll lead this one, won't you, Mac? Oh, come on then. Hundreds of thousands of gravestones for those who fell on the Western Front during the Second World War. Portland Stone. Half a million headstones for the Commonwealth War Cemetery. Portland Stone. The Cenotaph in London. Yep, Portland Stone. Get ready for a couple of dog walkers. <laughs> there we go. Now I've made it to the top of the route and I'm putting the quick draws in. Opposite way. Uh, to create an anchor, you're going to come down and then people can top rope that, that route as well. Brilliant, eh? In the foreground, Emma's getting ready to climb. And in the background, Andrew and I are going to swap over. I'm going to belay and he's going to go up. Although he's got the slightly less onerous task of going up there with the top rope in place. Yeah, he does the easy stuff. Yeah. Is that the UN building in New York? Why, yes, it is. Portland Stone. Though, to be fair, a lot of that is glass. But then I guess it's kind of ironic that I'm wearing my Karis and Karis hoodie. I got it from Uncle Mike, who works there. If you've ever been to Boston and you've looked at skyscrapers, chances are... You've seen Karis and Karis glass. They, they, they do a lot of glass. Sorry? I mean, they did Logan International Airport, and they also did a lot of the a lot of the windows for the big dig. That's a fine hoodie, eh? And it's champion. I wish my knee would bend that far. Nice. Emma's going for it. Look at this. Unlike indoor climbing, it's kind of hard to figure out where to put your hands. Beauty. You do figure out eventually though.
nice. Nice little down climb there. Nice. Nice, you did it. Well done. Well done, Emma. And just from this brief clip of Toby on episode 21, a trip to Horseshoe Quarry, we were inundated with requests. More with the shorts guy. So, not to let you down. Here's Toby. I know what some of you may have been thinking. Shorts in November on a rainy day. Not so fast. It's not so foolish. When the rain stopped, his legs would dry within minutes. This clown speaking right now, who opted for jeans on the day, had wet legs all day. And I learned from this guy and that trip to Horseshoe Quarry I need a rain cover for my backpack and also some waterproof bags to put inside because I had a load of clothes inside mine and they got soaked. Well, he wore shorts in November. Why isn't he wearing shorts now? Did you not see the temperature at the start? It was minus six in Oxford. Can you blame him for wearing That's trousers? Funny. You're okay. You're not gonna, yeah, you won't get a shot. <laughs> nice, well done, Toby. So Portland cement isn't necessarily made in Portland. It's basically a finely ground powder of calcium silicates and calcium, to a lesser extent, calcium illuminates aluminates. When mixed with water, these calcium silicates and illuminates, they create a chemical reaction that means it dries and hardens at room temperature. And then the color of it looks like Portland stone, hence the name Portland cement. <laughs> and it was in 1824, well, that's almost 200 years ago, that Joseph Aspdin and James Parker patented the mixture. Hmm. You can do the commentating if you're interested. <laughs> that's Grant from the Czech Republic. He's the one filming. He's doing a bang up job, that's for sure. I do like Andrew's very measured approach to climbing. Look at this. Everything very deliberate, very considered. Nice. Yeah, you got it. Well done. That's good. Thank you. Next up, we have Ella from Cleveland, Ohio, in the United States of America. She's sporting some really nice lined trousers. They're fleece lined. Oh, I was covered in them all day. Imagine how warm that would be. Nice. You know how you meet someone and they tell you where they're from and you start thinking, what do I know about that place? The only thing I know about Cleveland is Cleveland Browns. That's an American football team. So I did a brief search online. Did you know that Cleveland became the home of General Electric 
in 1892, I didn't. And two years earlier, in 1890, it opened the first indoor shopping mall called the Arcade. It's still there. The first automobile was sold in Cleveland in 1898. And in 1905, the first ever blood transfusion was done in Cleveland. This is Itihad from Bangladesh. He had the quote of the day for me. This was his first time climbing. <laughs> and he turned around and said, Ha! Ah, climbing's like cricket. You just stand around for ages and then there's a little bit of action. I guess that's totally true, eh? Is he from Mass? Huh? Is he from Mass? Nice. My wife's from my Springfield, which is over Western Mass. My uh, my mother-in-law's from Weymouth. He's doing pretty well, com considering this is his first time climbing. He's quick too. I did say to him that he was one of the first Bangladeshis that I've I've ever met. But then again, a lot of the uh, the cooks in Indian restaurants from Bangladesh. Legends right below your hand now. This one? Yeah. That's quite a good cycling, isn't it? <laughs> you got to lean more towards the other rope, I think. One way to do this is to really uh, to hang on to your both hands and just pull yourself up. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. Well done. Here's the shortless Toby going for it again. Oh, look at that. Let me just walk over. I didn't even ask Toby where he's from. Britain somewhere. I, I, I assume. I know that there may be some geologists or even some architects that are just fuming at the moment. They're like, there's a, there's a glaring omission. You've not mentioned a certain building made out of Portland stone. No, but I am going to now. I've saved the best to last. You ready? St. Paul's Cathedral. Yes, look at that. And who designed it in the English Baroque style? None other than Sir Christopher Wren. Oh, we've come full circle. That's nice of the MP of Weymouth to support his constituents. Hey, wait a minute, isn't that nepotism? I don't have this full climb recorded, but I just love the position that Paula gets into at the start here. Hey. Nothing to film here, just, <laughs> just failure. Look at that. You got the it's like a film. cool, fast freezing break dancing. Brilliant. Is Grant again from the Czech Republic. The first time I met him was last summer, bouldering at Stanage. It was his first time bouldering and he asked me to take some pictures of him so that he could show his dad because his dad climbs. I lost my dad a few years ago and so I made it my mission. I had to get some good footage of, of Grant here. Nice climbing Grant. When I sent him the footage and explained to him why I was so eager to take footage and for him to show his dad. And I'd lost my dad and all of that. You know what he said? He said, oh, if you ever want to talk about it, how nice is that? What a good egg. I mean, 
We barely even know each other. He's from Czech Republic. And yet, he reached out and said, do you want to talk about it? I've got an ear. Nice guy, eh? I particularly like that wide-legged bridging maneuver that Grant did over the crack. A quick brewing fact, the Lager Budweiser from Budweiser in Czech Republic is not allowed to be called Budweiser in the States. It's called Czech Bar. Whereas in Britain, you can buy it as Budweiser Bud Bar. And so we're nearing the end of this week's video. Maybe more from Portland next week. More of the same faces, maybe some new faces. If you like this video, give the like button a press. In the meantime, have a great week. And if you're climbing, stay safe. I love Grant's technique when being lowered. He looks like a bull rider. Howdy. All relaxed and holding on with one hand. What's that? You heard that Guy came on this trip too. He did. But he's pretty vain, so he just spent the whole time stood in front of the mirror. I'm joking, of course. He was climbing a part of the rock called the mirror. Here he is. Oh, look at that. Until next Sunday, cheerio.